Retiring of the legendary coach Jenny Lang Ping in early exit of Team China The Iron Hammer of China and volleyball legend Jenny Lang Ping has finally decided to call it quits after what has been the single worst season for volleyball for China after years of dominance. To find about more about the legacy of the revered coach and player, keep watching the video, and if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing to our channel and ringing the notification bell so you don't miss any future video. Now, let's jump in. Known worldwide as China's equivalent of Michael Jordan, few athletes in history can claim to have as star-studded a career as Jenny Lang Ping. Starting her career as early as 18, she has won countless international victories as a player as well as a coach. As a player she's won gold in 81, 82, and 85 world championships, and has won gold at the 1984 Olympics. Having been inducted into the Volleyball Hall of Fame in 2002 in Holyoke, Massachusetts, she has coached the U.S. national team to a silver medal in at the 2008 Beijing Olympics in her home country, and then the Chinese team at the 2016 Rio Olympics, which ended up bringing home the gold medal, making her the first person in volleyball history, male or female, to have won gold at the Olympics both as a player and as a coach. And although the track record seemed to have been going well without trouble, with a gold again at the 2019 World Cup, the Olympics went a lot worse than planned. With three immediate losses against other teams, the team was quick to disappoint fans and viewers worldwide, particularly at home. Part of the reason came to be Zhu Ting's much-talked-about wrist injury, which has been widely blamed as the main reason for the defending champion struggles, which the coach described as a time bomb in an exclusive interview with Xinhua. The team seemed to have gotten its act together later in the championship with a 3-0 win against Argentina, but as Lang herself said, the victory was too late as they finished with a disappointing 2-3 win loss on the leaderboard, failing to even make it to the knockout stage. All in all, it was the single worst performance by the team ever since their debut in 1984, and will no doubt be an ugly stain on the coach's career. Finally, on July 31st with the team managing to regain some semblance of composure in a win against Italy, Lang apologized to the Chinese people, declaring her intention of retiring with this game. In an interview following the announcement, the coach said that I've almost fulfilled all my dreams in volleyball, and went on to say I don't think I can ask for more, and it's also not feasible to pursue more given my age. As a 60-year-old coach, her career has been studded with a lot of achievements, from being in charge of the national team in 2013, Lang has guided China to gold at the Rio Olympics, two World Cup titles, and a silver, and a bronze at the World Championships. The coach went on to look her career by saying that, I had a lot of happiness over the years, although I am not satisfied this time. Regret is also part of life and an experience that we all have to face. With fans and team members all in shock regarding the sudden decision, the coach went on to describe what she planned to do with her time free. For so many years, I couldn't spend quality time with my family. I want to make it up to them and enjoy the happiness of family life. Otherwise, it will be too late. After Monday's match against Argentina, the Chinese team appeared to bid Lang farewell hugging the head coach one by one, some with tears in their eyes, as fans over the country mourned the loss of the legend. And that's the story of how the Chinese team's historic underperformance at these Olympics led to the eventual loss of the beloved coach. And that about covers it from our side, hope you enjoyed watching the video, if you did, leave a like and I'll catch you all next time.